According to smartasset.com, the average American has just over $9,000 in their checking account. That includes 18 years old, all the way up to 80s, 90s, 100 year olds. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you a few steps to saving more money. Hey, hey, hey. Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Patrick Kenny. Welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we talk about everything involved with making more money, specifically on the internet. And in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about how to save more money. Now, if you're new around here, be sure to click that subscribe button and also click that like button to let me know that you want more videos like this. So in today's video, I want to talk about saving more money. Now, first things first, in order to save money, that means you have to make money. And obviously on this channel, I've been talking a lot about different ways to actually do that. But in today's video, what I want to talk about is saving more money, whether you're making $1,000 a month or $100,000 a month or a million dollars a month, the principles will be identical. Now, first things first, when you are deciding to save more money, you have to do just that. You have to make a decision. So a decision is going to need to be made in order to actually save more money. You have to decide that I'm going to figure out how to save more money, I'm going to save more money in order to actually do that. That is the most important step in this entire process is actually making a decision to do it, which leads to your second step, which is setting your goal. Now your goal might be to save an extra thousand dollars, your goal might be an extra 10,000, 100,000, 100 million, I don't care what it is. You have to set a goal to hit it. With this goal, you're going to be able to mathematically determine how long it's going to take you. Let's say you wanna save $100,000 and you wanna do it in 12 months. Well, you're able to mathematically divide that out and know exactly what you're gonna to need to save each month in order to reach that goal within one year. Let's say you wanna save an extra $1,000 or an extra, for sake of better math, an extra $1,200 this year. You divide 12 into that $1,200 and you're gonna be able to realize that every single month I'm gonna to have to save an extra $100. So again, for you, you're going to want to set a goal. Now, number three, what I wanna talk about is figuring out how you're going to make the progression. And this is fairly simple. What am I going to do to set this money aside? And most people to do that, they're going to have to, that bad B word, start budgeting their income. In order to save money, you're gonna have to figure out how am I going to budget? How am I going to save money? So. That Red Lobster trip that you're used to taking every month, that fifth Starbucks of the week, that video game that you wanted to get might have to get X'd out. You're going to have to start to X, Xing out unwanted, unneeded expenses. Okay, And so in order to do that, you're going to have to come up with a budget. Inside of this budget, this money that you're saving should be on top of a three to six month shelter. And so what I mean by that is inside of this, you want a shelter already in place on top of the money you want to save. A shelter is three to six months of living expenses put in a separate bank account that you don't have access to. Just in case a medical emergency comes up, just in case you get laid off your job, all these just in case scenarios need to be played into. Okay, now finally, when we're talking about saving more money, you have now made a decision to do it. You've set a goal. You've started to move towards that goal and now you've set a budget to get there. Last is to figure out how can I hyperdrive the success? Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to hyperdrive the success. How do I do that? Well, it comes down into make more money, such as higher commissions, more work at your job, selling unwanted items. The reason we want to do that is you're going to want to start to dig into this goal. You're going to want to chip into this goal, flow that money into this goal so that when your goal of 1200 bucks in your bank account by the end of 12 months gets hit in six, you can now set a new goal. 
Okay, and in the future on this channel, we're gonna talk a lot more about not only saving money, but how to use the money we save because we don't wanna save money for the sake of it. We wanna save money for a reason. So watch more videos on my channel in order to figure out what that reason is going to be for you. Again, this has been Patrick Kenny. Been really excited to talk to you guys today. What I wanna do is invite you guys to subscribe to my channel one more time in order to get more content just like this. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you on the next one.